Okay, we're going to bind the 502E and the 502S transmitters to the 502S quadcopter. Will be this. This will be the same procedure if you also had a 502E quadcopter. So right now the 502S transmitter is bound to the quadcopter so we'll bind the 502E transmitter. So what we do, we hold down the photo video button while we turn on the transmitter, release it and you'll see we have this H flashing on the screen which means the transmitter is ready to be bound to the quad. Next, we just plug in the quad battery and then we'll just wait. Takes just a few seconds and now it's bound and it's ready to calibrate the compass. We're not going to bother wasting time on that today. So I'm just going to unplug battery and turn off that transmitter. Now these two are not bound anymore even though they were before. So what we do with the 502S transmitter is we hold down on the photo button and turn on the transmitter and wait for it to give us the indication that it's ready to bind to the plane. And then same procedure, plug in the quad battery and wait for the two to bind. Just takes a few seconds and we're ready to calibrate the compasses. And I'm just going to go through the procedure one more time real quickly. Hold down the photo video button on the 502E transmitter while you turn it on. Wait for the H to flash. Plug in your quad battery. And now we just wait for the two to bind. And there we go. Now you Calibrate your compasses just like normal. You're going to hold down your photo button, turn on the transmitter. It's ready to bind. Plug in the battery and wait for the procedure to finish. And just like that, you can fly your 502 quad with either transmitter. Thanks for watching.